We want to turn now to that fertility breakthrough that could be a key for women who are struggling with miscarriages. An innovative technique featured in National Geographic magazine offers new hope. Amy is here with more on what's called Precision IVF. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Cecilia. Yes, according to the CDC, 12% of women in the U.S. are dealing with infertility issues, and for many of them, this new test could be an answer to their prayers, like it was for this couple. When Carolyn Bilson and Tim O'Brien met three years ago, it was love at first sight. Literally a couple months later, we decided that it was, we knew we wanted to have children. But after two miscarriages and Carolyn pushing 40, they sought help from a fertility specialist in Chicago who recommended in vitro fertilization. Their first attempt at IVF failed too. I think it was just so devastating because we didn't anticipate that. We thought the hard part would be getting pregnant, not staying pregnant. And the frustrating thing was you didn't learn anything from the previous miscarriage. So there wasn't, what could we do differently? Hey, hello. Good to see, Good to see you. you. How are you? But then they learned about a new way to tailor fertility treatments to the mother's Thank own you. DNA. Amazing. A test that can help couples figure out the perfect time for conception. Using a tissue sample, the ERA, or endometrial receptivity test, looks at 238 genes to find the optimum time for conception, increasing the chance to conceive. For Carolyn, it was two days later than the average woman. So this is what we are trying to do here by personalized medicine. We can make sure that the uterus is ready and optimize the time for implantation. So this is Wesley. The result was their beautiful baby, Wesley, now nine months old. <laughs> We're so lucky. We're so blessed. Congratulations to them. Now, this ERA test can cost from around $800 to $1,000, and right now it is not covered by insurance, Cecilia. Okay, Amy, thanks a lot. We want to bring in now uh, Dr. OBGYN, Dr. Jessica Shepard. Let's start with this ERA test. Tell us exactly kind of how it works and why this is such a surprising and, and, and really exciting development for so many families. So, you know, infertility in general can be such an emotional turmoil and journey. This is so exciting because what we're finding is that this is so much much personalized medication or medicine rather and so what they're looking at is women who have gone through recurrent miscarriages and recurrent losses so it's not so much just getting pregnant it's staying pregnant and so this is good for women using their DNA to look at their endometrial lining to determine when is the best time to implant that embryo so for example we have this wonderful demo here which is like the perfect way to visualize it so if you think of the endometrial cavity the tissue needs to be perfect priming for that implantation so for this jar it's just a little too little this one has a little bit too much but as you'll see here this is just the perfect amount of soil for this flower to bloom mm -hmm. which is just like the endometrial lining in order to have that embryo implant but also to have a successful pregnancy Amy used the number at the beginning of her story 12% of people struggling yeah. with infertility that's a lot of people who is this test best for? So this test is best for not necessarily just going through IVF as we discussed earlier but actually it's best for women who have recurrent miscarriages, recurrent pregnancy loss and are suffering from that type and using personalized individual medication and medicine that can tell them when is the best time to implant that embryo. And are there risks associated with this procedure? With any technology, new technology, there's going to be risks and so risks that you'd have in this test is again women can still miscarry potentially after having a procedure like this or a testing like this but also the emotional journey that women go through in infertility that is so important that we have to take account for that emotional turmoil that they go through and also the risk is also that it's newer so it hasn't been done on a lot of women per se so again we need to have a little bit more of this testing done to see exactly how well it can do so many women and family going through this looking absolutely. for hope and so perhaps this gives them some of that yes Dr. absolutely it's great to have you here with us this morning thank you so much thank you that January issue of National Geographic magazine is a special one issue edition it's a special one issue edition all about the future of medicine it's available online right now and it hits newsstands later this month well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.